for today. Abhijit Avasti and Sonali Segal launch Sideways Consulting. Behind the scenes of Godrej's new HM color TVC shoot. And the industry pays tribute to Mike Khanna. Hello and welcome to Storyboard. I'm Pavni Mittal. After quitting Ogilvy in October, Abhijit Avasti has launched his new venture in partnership with Ogilvy's former SVP of Client Services, Sonali Segal. The consultancy, called Sideways Consulting, describes itself as a creative problem-solving company that will house talent ranging from advertising to technology to designers and more. Here's a duo talking about why they decided to call their company Sideways, its USP, and also clearing the air on rumors about Piyush Pandey's role in Sideways. Listen in. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. To begin with, uh, why Sideways? I think Sideways encapsulates the philosophy that we are espous espousing. You know, basically, I think creativity is a philosophy which can be applied to any aspect of life. Uh, and, you know, and a way of saying that is to look at things sideways. It's in fact, it's one of my favorite books, The Art of Looking Sideways. Yeah, um, and I think all the big breakthroughs in history, whether it's to do with science, technology, communication, have only come when people had looked at life a little sideways. And that's the reason, you know, the word sideways, it cues a different approach, a different kind of thinking without uh, using words like creative and things like that. And uh, besides, I love the movie sideways. Okay. Now, uh, you know, it's all over the news today. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's get, get rid of some kind of rumors, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> uh, yes. speculation, call it what you want. Sure, so, first, uh, what is the role that Piyush Pandey is going to play in your company? So, he will be uh, our well-wisher and he'll be our biggest mentor. Right. Okay, now let me get, clarify that further. He will have nothing to do with your company in an official capacity. No, nothing in an official capacity. Right, okay, right. And to stay with some more rumors, uh, will we see anybody else from Ogilvy joining Sideways? Do you want to take names and ask us? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I, <laughs> no, no, there's no one right now. Like I said, you know, it's such a small thing right now, it's just Sonali and me. And we're putting a small core team together, so no, no such thing. Uh, let's, let's start with you and say, what will Sideways be doing? No, no, it's all very well to say it's not an agency and it's not these things. What is it then? What, what, what does it do? Okay, so the way we are kind of, uh, we've thought it through is uh, Sideways is going to be like a creative problem solving uh, company. Uh, and uh, we'll have, uh, and basically like what Keenu was saying, the entire uh, uh, approach is actually the philosophy of creativity. And if we apply creativity, we can solve problems in multiple aspects of the client's business. And currently, as of now, it's only been applied to say uh, branding or communications. But there are, um, uh, there are lots of uh, areas, for example, in, in the internal processes of the clients, products, they're pro innovating on their products and services, to working out like a dealer, uh, a dealer program for them, a dealer loyalty program for them, HR initiatives. So there are lots of different areas in which uh, uh, a creative problem solution firm like ours can participate with the client. Uh, if I asked you to, to describe a few firms which might be doing work similar to what you're doing, uh, how would you, would you be able to name them or describe them? I don't them? think there's anyone doing like that. In fact, right. that's what most people are finding exciting. Um, often odd cases, maybe, but from whatever uh, my understanding is, and I've been speaking about this for a long time uh, with a lot of people, I don't think there's anyone who's trying to almost uh, institutionalize or expand creativity to pretty much every aspect of, uh, of running a business organization, whether it's a, a private enterprise or a governmental organization or a social enterprise. Right. Now, you look at it from your prospective client's yeah. kind of space. Yeah. So, he, he's got ghosts in his house. You open the yellow pages, he finds Ghostbusters and he calls. Yep. So, what is he going to look up in the yellow pages to call you? I think what's interesting is that he doesn't need to look up a yellow pages. And we're hoping that it reaches a stage like that. Um, he has a problem or he thinks there's a potential opportunity where uh, things can be unlocked. I would like it to reach a stage where his first thought is, Let's just call the sideways guys in because they will be able to exploit it in a certain way that nobody else can. And like I mentioned, you know, the thing is, if we are offering solutions across the spectrum, that solution could lie in advertising, it could lie in a product development, it could lie in uh, an innovation in an existing uh, policy that he has. I think many a time, see what happens is, I, 
one of the key place to people and a key pitches to clients is in this day and age the problem holder has already decided in his mind where the solution for that will come from should I call in an agency should I call in my IT firm should I call in an HR consultant I think there's a big gap in that in today's day and age the solution for a problem can come from anywhere and I think calling in sideways at that point in time uh, would uh, solve that thing in a very elegant way uh, you know it's like I think so much of life today is about reframing a problem okay I think conventional thinking towards anything that time is dead and gone it's a rather hyper dynamic case that we're living in and uh, you need to look at pretty much everything you know it's a bad pun but in a sideways manner right then uh, tell me you solve you're going to solve the problems of the entire world but you haven't solved your own logo <laughs> uh, so, so why is that stuck, Sonali? It's uh, where, where is that? Yeah, we are uh, uh, difficult clients for ourselves, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we are kind of exploring some options, and we are still like a month and a half away from actually going and kind of starting work. Yeah. So it's not that we are kind of running out of time. So we have the time and using the time to kind of really uh, find the perfect logo for us. Sorry, earlier you were talking about your company uh, having people with both right brain and left brain capability. Now describe to me some of the people who you would like should apply to your company. What are the kind of people who would Okay, so uh, firstly, uh, people who are, of course, conceptual thinkers and who love uh, the concept of solving problems. I think that's critical. Uh, and it's about people who can have the mindsets to collaborate with one another. So uh, that's very critical to ensure that we build on each other's uh, solutions. So therefore, we arrive at something which is very unique and differentiated. So I think a mindset is very, very, that is very critical. Uh, the second thing is, as Kimu mentioned, we're looking at inter interdisciplinary set of people so therefore we're looking at design thinkers we're looking at which is their own specialized field so uh, we're looking at uh, typical agency of course copy art people we're looking at digital guys we're looking at uh, product designers we're looking at ex engineers uh, exhibition artists uh, installation artists so uh, the whole gamut actually right. so, so uh, some people will get on board immediately and some people will kind of work with on a you know maybe like a, a collaborative manner or freelance basis as we proceed Right. So, uh, you know, these uh, is it is hiring going to be a challenge, Kino? Because, you know, uh, I know if I apply to Kotak, I will join a bank. If I apply to so and so, I will join a petrol company, and so on. So, who are they joining if they join you? I think hiring will be a fun process, and what I mean by that is, I know for a fact that there are a lot of people who have already expressed interest because it's a very unique offering. You know, creative people are uh, are damn. Uh, chuffed when they get something, when they go, get to work in a place which nothing like that exists. Okay, uh, the mindset is to solve things in a different way. I'll tell you where I see a challenge for ourselves is because it's a new journey, it's a new kind of outfit. Nothing like this exists in India for certain. Is to figure out who are the right guys for us. So on one level, hiring the person who's joining us for him, the incentive is that he's joining an absolutely new age, new order organization, nothing of like of which exists anywhere. Uh, so that journey will be exciting. We are not, you know, one of the cribs that a lot of creative people have is the silos in which they are put in uh, inter typical uh, advertising agencies or other uh, design firms, etc. Here, uh, and actually, that's been one of the selling points of with some of the people who've been speaking to. Uh, they've said, you know, if you're telling us from day one that there are no walls, etc. So of course there are roles and responsibilities, but if this integrated approach at first reframing the problem and then collaborating on each other's skill sets is there I think most of them have gotten very excited with that I think creative guys on one hand while they enjoy their individual contribution I think inherently a lot of them love building on each other's ideas so I think it will be fun I think we will have enough takers ok to both of you best of luck and we will keep watch on what you do thank you very much and we will keep watch on the rumours that build up about what you do yes in fact there is one other thing which I don't know if you are aware but Anand Rangaswam is uh, is a, is a partner in uh, what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Here's wishing Sonali and Abhijit all the very best. We're going to take a short break here. When we come back, the engine ad industry pays a tribute to J. Walter Thompson's chairman emeritus, Mike Khanna.